Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Last time we improved our dialogue system, so now we can display a longer text. Also can display text letter by letter. And in this video, we create a dungeon where we can fight this game's final boss. If you kill this boss and get a legendary treasure in the dungeon, then you can beat this game. Also, I added one more monster to this field map. It's a red slime. Technically, it's nothing new. I just duplicated the green slime class used to this red slime images and arranged its parameters so it becomes a bit stronger. And to make a little more difference, I removed the shooting rock ability from the green slime. So now only this red slime can shoot rocks. And to create the dungeon, I've added two new tiles, stairs up and stairs down. And I placed it here so we can enter the dungeon and created these two dungeon maps. The second floor will be a boss room. So I'm gonna copy these two images and uh, two map files. Everything is on my Google Drive, so you can download them if you want. And okay, Tile Manager. From here, we're gonna load those two maps. And first, in this Event Handler class, we set some teleport events so we can enter and exit the dungeon and also move between the first floor and the second floor. Yeah, like this. Okay, yeah, let's check. Hmm, okay. Okay, now we can enter the dungeon. But as you can see, the day and night cycle is still going on even in the dungeon. And this looks weird. Actually, this is happening in the merchant's house too. So we're gonna edit our code and decide when we apply the day and the night effect. And here's what we're gonna do. If it's outside, we apply the normal day and the night effect. And if it's dungeon, we apply a darkness filter all the time. It's always dark, so you better have a lantern to explore it. And if it's indoor, such as the merchant's house, we don't apply any effect. To handle that, here in the game panel, we create area state variables. Public int current area final int outside like this. So I chose, you know, 50, 51, 52, but basically you can choose any number. And the default current area is outside. And in this event handler, we add one more parameter to this teleport method. Int area. 
and get it as current area and also yeah we're gonna pass the parameter here so this is going to the merchant's house so we're gonna pass indoor and this is to outside so outside and uh, dungeon and outside and this is dungeon so this is dungeon to dungeon so dungeon okay uh, then open this writing class uh, okay so we don't stop this day counter even if you are indoor or in a dungeon the time is still passing because that's how it works in real life so even if it was daytime when you enter the dungeon maybe it becomes nighttime when you go out or vice versa so we only edit this draw method if gp.current area equal outside then we're gonna set this filter alpha to this g2 and also another condition current area equal or dungeon then we're gonna draw this darkness filter and reset the alpha okay let me explain a little bit so if the current area is outside then we set this current filter alpha to this g2 so if it's outside we draw this darkness filter with the applied filter alpha and if it's dungeon then we don't do this so this g2's alpha value stays at 1f which means the area is dark all the time and if it's indoor we simply don't draw this darkness filter so we don't apply any darkness effect yeah let's check yeah so it's it's getting dark so let's go inside mm. okay and now dungeon so now it's daytime outside and enter the dungeon yeah but it's dark inside so now the day and the night cycle are only applied when you are outside but still there's this minor issue when you exit the dungeon Did you see that? When you enter or exit the dungeon, the screen becomes bright or dark for a moment. Then the transitioning effect starts. This is because we changed the game state to the transitioning state when we teleport to other area. But we also switch the current area here. That means so this filter situation changes before the transitioning effect is done so when you go outside for a second the lighting class draws a filter with the outside current alpha value but then because of the transitioning effect the screen gets darker again and to fix this we need to reverse the order basically we need to wait until the transitioning effect is done then apply the new areas filter alpha it was a little bit tricky but here's what I did so in this game panel we create one more variable public int next area and uh, create a method 
public void change area then event handler and uh, instead of this current area get this area as next area so we kind of pull this area information so the lighting class still draws a filter based on the current area then open this ui class and uh, this method draw transition so this is where the transitioning is done and here we call that change area method so back to this method so after the transitioning is done this method gets called now we can change the current location value current area equal next area also i think it would be nice if we can change the background music when we you know go to the different location so i created two more songs so the one is for the merchant house and the other one is for the dungeon so copy this and uh, import them Merchant Dungeon and here we're gonna create some if statements if next area not equal current area so first we need to check this so first we check if the next area is different from the current area you know if we are teleporting in the same area same kind of area for example from dungeon floor 1 to dungeon floor 2 we don't need to change the music only when we are switching to a different area we change the music so if area is different then first we stop music stop the current music and then apply new music so new if new area equal outside then we play music zero i think okay. and if next area is indoor play the indoor music and if it's dungeon then uh, 19 also i want to make monsters respawn when you switch areas so we're gonna call asset setter that set monster yeah like this okay let's check okay let's go to the merchant's house hmm yeah so the music changes Okay, now let's go to the dungeon. So now it plays the dungeon music. So now we have a uh, different music in the merchant's house and the dungeon. Okay, let's check the second floor too. Room. and uh, I'm gonna place a treasure chest here all right so now we can explore the dungeon 
maybe it's a bit short, but、uh, that's all for now. In the next video, we will add some content to this dungeon monsters and、uh, objects, and also create some events. Yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time.